Giles, we've seen a lot of developments lately in terms of the action that has been taken against piracy. But do you think there is a stronger line that needs to be taken? I think the navies have sufficiently strong what is known as rules of engagement. A lot of people get confused between uh, the cries for more robust action and rules of engagement. It, it's the, um, the political will that is passed uh, from governments to the navies that define those rules of engagement. And therefore, if you uh, s perceive there is a lack of action, uh, then you have to actually perceive there is a lack of action from governments. And I think this, this sensitivity is one that has got to be addressed. Some nation states have recently um, delegated their naval commanders uh, significantly more robust uh, rules of engagement. And we've seen that uh, recently with the UK and the USA uh, with recent actions in terms of the recovery of the Monte Cristo, uh, the taking out of some mothership dows where the issue of hostages on board those dows um, has proven extremely sensitive. Uh, but unless this is done, unless that risk is taken, then the pirate operates um, and is allowed to monopolise that tyranny of distance as it's become known throughout the whole of the Northwest Indian Ocean. So the taking out of dows is good. If they start to use captured vessels again as motherships, uh, the same policy is going to have to be followed. Otherwise, merchant vessels are going to continue to be preyed on by pirates as you know, a, a thousand nautical miles east of Somalia. This isn't, this isn't piracy off the coast of Somalia. This is piracy um, off the coast of India in some cases. Um, the, the most robust action that could be, uh, be actually uh, applied would be, of course, to take out the pirate base camps on the shorelines, which is an interesting one because um, the UN Security Council resolution gives um, the militaries with the permission of the TFG, that's the transitional federal government, um, to um, hot pursuit pirates right up to the high water mark. Um, well, not a great ex-mariner, but having been to sea quite a lot, um, at spring tides, the, the low water mark is very low and the high water mark is very high. Um, and I can assure you those base camps are somewhere between the two. We've seen recent developments in Kenya mm. where tourists have been kidnapped. We've got mariners kidnapped. We're beginning to see this issue take on um, another phase if you like. We've seen it develop quite strongly over the last few months. Um, do you think there's time for serious action um, in Somalia, inland? Um, th that's a, it's a good question, it's a reasonable question, but I think the jury's out on this one. Um, the taking of tourists from Kenyan beaches is a Kenyan issue. This, it's what I would perceive as being in the Kenyal, Kenyan vital interest to address. And I, am, I understand that Kenya, as we talk at the moment, is currently taking action. Um, there is no firm evidence as to who is carrying out this work, whether it is directly linked to uh, al-Shabaab or whether it's just um, criminal gangs working with al-Shabaab. Um, what we are fairly certain of is there is, no, um, there is no terrorism nexus as such here. It is for purely criminal activities. Um, because there is no political message coming out from this at all. Uh, so, for example, al-Shabaab aren't saying to the transitional federal government, um, we will continue to do this unless you stand down. Um, so whilst there is no nexus, we have to view this still as, as, as criminal activity. These are murderers, these are thugs, uh, these are kidnappers, uh, these are criminals. And in the Western world, we would not allow this to go on. Um, what it is doing for the West, however, is harming the potential of long-term future trade because soon mariners, as far as the kidnapping on the high seas is concerned, and indeed now the murder of some seafarers uh, and the natural and, and some dying from, from uh, heart attacks and that sort of thing, um, is seafarers are now saying, we don't want to trade this area any longer. We're not 100% sure we want to sail any longer. Indeed, some of them are saying they should go on strike. They're certainly demanding of the ship operator and, ma and owner uh, that armed guards are provided. And that in itself is, is going to create a, a circular causation of, of violence that could only actually exacerbate the problem because the pirates have got a business model and they're just going to upgun. They're going to continue to try and find ways of getting around armed guards. And very unfortunately, there are a lot of young men jumping 
jumping on the bandwagon thinking they can provide this service and they're not actually doing a very good job. On the other hand, there are some outstandingly professional companies doing a very good job. But my worry is the, the dangerous end of the spectrum and a vessel getting taken with a couple of unprofessional, badly armed guards. Uh, and when that happens, I, I dread to think what, what the actual um, concomitant damage and collateral damage is going to be.